There's something genuine about shared experiences like this. Music, concerts, these are things we can all relate to. It's safe to say that most everyone here today has been to a concert, and that at some point you've held on to a ticket stub from one of those events. Much hasn't changed in the way that we view, share, or collect experiences, though. We now enter venues with an 8.5 by 11 printout, we snap an Instagram shot or two, and we take a bunch of video that sits dead on our mobile device. All in all, still very little to show after the fact. The reason people have been collecting ticket stubs, these literally pieces of paper, is because they're trophies from emotional experiences we not only want to hang on to, but that we use as social proof. My name is Kyle Bumelis and I'm the CEO of StubbleShirt. Our vision is to build a community around experiences and to extend the life of events. We're building this missing piece to the social graph, which is how people are connected via shared experiences instead of materialistic things we like. <clears throat> no, social experiences shouldn't begin and end on the same day. The big problem is that there's an overwhelming amount of content being shared. Over 10% of all photos taken ever were shared in the last 12 months. Concerts, events, these are being documented in rich detail. Not only is this content meaningful to the people who are capturing it, but it's valuable for these promoters, artists, and event organizers who can leverage this story that fans are telling. And this market is only growing larger as industry changes. Artists aren't making their money from selling music. They're building their brand, making their dollar touring by creating an experience. We highlight this experience by having and leveraging content through embeddable live stream widgets, extending traditional avenues for event sponsors, extremely targeted consumer ads, emails, event data. The simple ability to connect with consumers pre and post event, key determinants for success beyond a ticket sale. Now we're not alone in tackling this space. There we go. We're not alone in tackling this space. Songkick has this platform for concert discovery. Shoot offers these streams of photos B2B. And Facebook, of course, has events. But not only do Facebook events look like this, they're extremely limiting in features and they virtually disappear after they're over. These events don't match this community that exists. And it's this really closed network when it comes to sharing around experiences. Facebook would have to adopt some open follow system to deal with some of these problems at hand regarding public content. Stublisher collects content being shared around specific events automatically, and we allow you to experience that in real time or post event. This is the modern day corkboard. These are all the events that I've been to. This lives both on Stublisher and on my Facebook timeline as we built with a deep integration through the open graph. I can go back and relive these experiences, share with not only the friends I went with, but also all other attendees. We're finally making it possible for people to connect and share who would have never otherwise been able to. But what's really neat is I can experience other events happening right now, even if I'm not there. This is a screen grab from the stream we set up around Outside Lands, a music festival in San Francisco. We pulled in over 37,000 photos, but that's just scratching the surface. We're making sense of what this really is, which is lost opportunity. Initially, we're powering this stream through the real-time Instagram API but we're soon to be pulling in other networks like Twitter, and we're excited for what's to come with our very own iOS application. This is built around a discovery platform, not only on what you've been to in the past or on location, but on the foundation of how we actually find out about events, which is through our friends. It's real-time video focused and strongly integrated with digital ticketing solutions like Passbook. Right now, we're building for concerts, but we're just using this niche market as a wedge. Our platform extrapolates to sports, fashion, all types of events. What Wikipedia did for knowledge, we're doing for experiences. When America wasn't able to see what was going on during the Olympics, we set up this geofence surrounding the Olympic Stadium. We were able to pull in all these photos of Olympic team members coming in. We caught the flyover, and it was incredible to capture that moment in time on Stubblesher and to be able to see that when no one else could. We're talking to Coke right now, and in the upcoming World Cup, they're attempting to tell the real story, not just what we see on TV, but what's happening in and around the stadium. 
It's incredible that we can grab this data, put it in a network, and allow everyone around the world to experience and touch that, regardless of friend group. We understand this space and are extremely passionate about not only concerts, but in finding ways to connect people via experiences. We understand how to build social products, leverage existing networks, build for distribution, and as you've seen, offer an engaging and memorable user experience. If you're interested in joining our growing list of advisors and investors, which span experience building and selling to Ticketmasters, Ticketmaster, key influencers in the space, such as Mick Boogie, who work with Kanye West and Jay-Z, and the current CMO of Lemon, a digital wallet. And if you match our passion and vision for revolutionizing the way people share around experiences, then we would love to speak with you. We're proud to announce today, you can go to StubbleShare.com and see this event stublished. Because let's be honest, these startups are worth more than a paper Eventbrite ticket. My name is Kyle, I'm here with my co-founders Billy and Zach, and we look forward to sharing in your experience on StubbleShare.